In D2L, the content areas where various kinds of media and activities can be combined in an outline that represents the course on the web. In this video, I describe the relationship between the content area and other parts of D2L where content is really stored. The discussions, drop boxes, and quizzes areas, as well as the manage files space. Knowing how these spaces interact can help you to gather and organize all your course web content into a well-organized structure that's easily understandable by students. D2L's content area is potentially the most important location in a course space. It's ideal if professors organize files, web pages, activities, and other resources in modules that might correspond to weeks, learning units, or some other scaffolded structure. Then, students can see how the course works, what to expect, and probably what is expected of them. In this class, I've got drop boxes, discussions, and quizzes. Students can see these activities, separated from other course content, in their own respective areas. In the discussion space, I see all the discussions in the course listed. Similarly, in Dropbox, I see assignment collectors listed, separated out from other course content. So too with quizzes, where I might find quizzes or exams. But I wish to have these installed also in the content area in modules, together with files I've uploaded, links to content outside D2L on the web, and so on. This is so my students can see how assignments, particular discussion topics, and quizzes integrate with what we do in class week to week or unit by unit. In some cases, I may build these items directly in content. That often makes the most sense. So in this module, I'll add a Dropbox. I click the blue New drop-down menu button and choose Dropbox. I can do the same with discussions, and this puts them directly where they need to be right away. However, there are times and reasons when I may want to use discussions, Dropbox, or quiz spaces to build those items first. So in this case, I'll go to Dropbox, and I'll create a new Dropbox specifically so that I have access to the Turnitin tools, which are only available in the Dropbox area. But if I build items such as Dropboxes, quizzes, or discussions in their respective areas, I can easily install them in a content module. In this case, to install a Dropbox that I don't have in any content module, I choose Add Existing Activities, Dropbox, and then I can look through the list of Dropboxes available in this course. After I click one, it's installed. Discussions and quizzes work similarly. If you upload files into your D2L course space, they typically go into the content area and only appear to students there. That simplifies things, but D2L actually stores those files behind the scenes in the Manage Files area. Technically, what you see in content, such as this PowerPoint presentation slide deck, is really only a link. You see a reference to this when you attempt to delete a file, as I'll do with this slide deck file. D2L basically asks you whether you want to just remove the file from the content area or you want to delete it from the course space here in D2L on the web altogether. Say I want to use it again, maybe later in this class. I'll just remove it from the content area, so that way it doesn't distract my students. You can get to the Manage Files area, where files are really stored, by clicking Edit Course and then Manage Files. Basically, the Manage Files area is a directory of files stored in your course, whether or not they currently appear in content. Since we copy course content from course space to course space each semester, most of us probably have copies of old syllabi from previous semesters in here. But anything you didn't explicitly delete from a course will remain and be copied into subsequent semesters' course spaces. This can be handy for several reasons. One is that I can store files within the course spaces even if I'm not using them to teach the class this semester, but I might use them in subsequent semesters. It doesn't appear in content this time around, but it's safely stored back here in Manage Files, where it will be copied along with the rest into a future course space. I can easily add that file to a content module. Go to Content, choose the module, click the blue New button, and choose Add from Manage Files. 
and then you'll get a list of files in the Manage Files area. Check the box next to the file you want and click Add. Another useful feature is that if I already have a file within a D12 core space and it's already appearing in a content module, I can also have it simultaneously appear as a link within another content module. Click the blue New button, Add from Manage Files, choose the file, click Add. This is helpful when I have files or instructions or discussion guidelines that I want to appear in multiple modules, multiple weeks or multiple learning units, because it's a set of repeated instructions that's relevant to similar kinds of activities. 